YouTube, what's up? King the Barber here, back with another video. So it looks like I'm in a casino, right? But no, I'm still at the shop. Uh, we've just been doing a lot of late hours. We're expanding a family. We're adding a couple more chairs in the back. So it's a very exciting time for us. Um, so this video is actually gonna be on two things. I wanna give you guys a little background of Razor Palace. And I also wanna show you guys my station, what I'm using on an everyday basis. Uh, my starting lineup as far as my clippers and my shears. I mean, a little bit of everything. So if you guys are interested in that, stay with me guys and we're gonna get right to that. But first, hit that subscribe button. Also, give me that thumbs up and follow me on Instagram, at KingMeLifestyle. So without further ado, let's get to the video. What's up guys and welcome back. So we're actually on our way to work right now, me and my wife. So, um, a little backstory to Razor Palace. It comes from Caesar's Palace. I used to live in uh, Las Vegas. I was kind of raised there and I worked at Caesar's Palace for a long time. But not only did I work there, I also met my wife there as well. So to kind of pay homage to uh, Caesar's Palace, we named our shop Razor Palace. So, you know, we met there, I worked there. It just kind of all flows together. So we're on our way to get everything set up at the shop and I'll see you guys there. All right guys, so um, we just got to the shop right now. Getting ready to open up. So I'm actually going through the back way of the shop here. guys so I want to start off with the wallpaper which is a wallpaper of the Caesars Palace inside the casino here this is what I saw every day working there at Caesars Palace and then here's also the front of Caesars Palace the famous waterfall that they have there as well you know we chose the wallpaper because we wanted to kind of give it a casino vibe here our theme I should say is that we wanted to kind of do a Vegas style barbershop so we did the red carpet because you know we live in Woodland hills where we see like a lot of celebrities and things like that and my whole motto is i like to treat everyone like a star like a celebrity so when you come in here you get that star treatment you're going to feel like a celebrity coming in and when you leave because that's just what kind of service we bring to you guys so that's why we do the red carpet plus no one has red carpet so you know, we want to stand out from all the other shops as well. And then the um, wallpaper over here. So the wallpaper with the cards, my wife actually kind of came up with that, um, which was like really cool. I didn't really understand like cards. I don't know, they might look kind of stupid, but um, she really put it together, you know, and then kind of put our little logo on there as well. So, and then we got the king. Uh, and also we got the Queens, which was kind of cool as well. So that kind of represents me and my wife. Over here in our uh, front desk area, uh, we have some candles. So there's an artist in Las Vegas, actually. He goes to the clubs and he uh, get the empty bottles from the clubs and he kind of makes them into candles. So we have like the Don Julio right here. If you can see that, which is a candle. Uh, we actually sell these as well. So if you guys want to pick one up, hit me up. I'll definitely send you guys one out. The aprons, right? It kind of looks like a mess a little bit. I've been messing with this one right here. But here are the aprons, guys. So if you guys want an apron, make sure you hit me up as well. But you can get them directly from me or you can come to the shop and pick one up. But we do have the aprons. Look, we have the uh, MCM, the supreme we have the brown we have the brown louis we have the black louis a hoodie as well uh, i only have one one of those left we're gonna make some more orders of these pretty soon what's cool about these hoodies is that it says trust the king all right trust the king so that's what's cool about that. And then we also have an MCM in black. Also, we have an MCM in blue. I have one Gucci one. 
right here, if you can see that print, it's the Gucci apron, which is pretty dope. Let me kind of show you guys what the aprons look like. All right. It has the leather straps there, the little silver buckle on this one, you know, with the leather uh, straps for the neck. I'll just throw that there. Now we're going to my station. So let me show you this ring light first. I was watching a YouTube video. Let me turn that down, it's too much light. So I was watching this YouTube video of this uh, one barber. He ordered this from Amazon. And I'm like, I need to get one of those. Cause I used to use the stand one and that sucks. So I ended up using this one, which is really cool because with this one, you know, you just mount it to the wall and then you can put your camera there, you know, and you can start filming. Oh, I love this ring light. This is just amazing. One of the best purchases I made. Cause you know, as a barber, I love to have a lot of lights. On my station, I'm gonna show you guys. On my station, my starting lineup basically is the Octanes. I love using these Octanes. These are my number one clipper. Uh, I know in one of my videos, I kind of mentioned that. So with, with the Octanes, my favorite guards, uh, metal guards that I love to use, um, Outliner Blade, which is this right here. And I actually have two of these because when you're using the, um, the cordless detachable clippers, they kind of heat up a little bit. So I have uh, two of them actually. All right, so here's my other one. I like to use the Zero A guard. And if you watch my videos, you see that I use this guard, well, metal guard. And also I use the 1A metal guard. Those are pretty much the three uh, metal clips that I use for the Octane. To bald out, the Zero A is like I'm using um, an adjustable clipper closed. The 1A is like using one plastic guard on it. Um, of course, my new babyless trimmers. I love using these as well. And I also have these in the lineup. I have the uh, Seniors. And of course, I have the Magic Clip, but this isn't a Magic Clip cover. It has a uh, Sterling 4 cover on it, only because I want it to be bl all black. Now that they have the new Magic Clips with the, uh, the black cover and then they have the gold right here, I want to pick one of those up, but I was kind of sleeping on that. Um, let's see, uh, let's go. Really nothing in there. Oh, my slim lines, of course. I kind of take them off the chargers, so when I'm done for the end of the day, I like to take off my, my uh, clippers and make sure they're not charging while I'm not using them. So I just kind of set them down right there. And of course, my shaver. I use this actually more than I use the the bronze, um, this is a uh, seven series. This is an old shaver that I've been using, I mean, way over 10 years. I mean, you can look at it, it looks a little beat up. The newer ones, they, I think they're more, I think they're black or something like that, but I've been using this forever. I'll shave them with the razor first and then go over it with this, because I don't know if you can still find this particular one, but it is a seven series. This is a really great shaver. I recommend that to anyone. And then my shears, the Hanzo shears. So these are my favorite shears that I like to use on a day to day. So these shears are a, a seven inch shear. They're really good shears, they're pretty pricey, but you know what, you get, you get your money's worth with shears. Um, I didn't really understand that in the beginning, but these particular shears will probably last me a lifetime. I did get insurance, so I get free sharpenings, and which is awesome. And my next drawer, all my beautiful product here, as far as with my combs, um, some of this contour that I like to use more for curly hair. I use some of this shaving. After I do my shades, I throw some of that on my clients. Some of the uh, aftershave, which I need some more in there. Um, I use this right here uh, to take off any of the, um, the dye that I might use with the Beijing that I use. I, I don't use this often. I ended up buying some Topic here. I don't really use that as well. As f and this right here, which is the Kiss. Didn't show you guys my airbrush. This is the Masters. 
But yeah, I love using this airbrush. I tried using the cordless, but it didn't work on me. It only lasted like one day. So this right here is uh, good to go. As long as you clean it out, make sure you clean it. I put alcohol in it to clean it out every day. And I also mix my dye with alcohol as well. Another trick you can do. This is what the black right here. And then I also have the dark brown. That's the dark brown. So I mix some, uh, mix those two up with some alcohol and I make it work. And uh, here is a bottle of it. This will last you about a week. Also my little mini mister I like to use. Now I use this after my shaves to kind of cool down the skin because it comes out cool. It's not a hot mister. It actually builds out cold mist. And then what I do is on the top here, I'll add some aftershave. Also vitamin C I use from doing my mini facials here. This is for the face. You, um, you put this on the client's face. What I do is I'll, I'll get this and then I'll put some of this tea tree. So I'll actually put this tea tree on inside the brush here to kind of lather it up and make it real soapy. And then um, put that on the client's face. Then use the black mask. Then I'll throw, but I'll actually throw, I'll actually use the black mask first before I do all those other procedures. I'll use the black mask, get that on, and then clean up the face, um, you know, with the scrubber and the tea tree and all that good stuff, right? And then here are some of my razors. Obviously, I just did a video on this razor, and you know, I have a few other razors here. So I wanted to show you guys this razor. I haven't used this in a long time, but um, I used to try to do like head shaves with this. It's not a really good idea to do that. And then obviously I have my gloves here. This is some Black Solutions. Bought a couple of their products to try them out. Uh, shaving creams. I use this stuff right here for my sponge. It's really good stuff. The Tropic Roots. It's, you can get this at Sally's. And then here's my sponge, which I don't really use as much uh, as far as my sponge. And that's in that drawer. And then here, we just have towels and all my capes and stuff like that. So nothing really special in that drawer. And then over here, I'll have, um, I love using this stuff right here. Um, this is the um, hair spritz. I like to spray this, dry it with my blow dryer and then get that nice crispy lineup. And sometimes I like to use the uh, hairspray as well. So if I'm not using that, I'll use this. You can spray it on the neckline as well. Let it dry, do your liners and you get a nice crispy lineup. Gel there, elegance. Uh, of course your cool care, uh, more aftershave, aftershave and then my pre-shave and some more shaving gel which is the blade this is some good stuff actually guys don't sleep on this gel i actually like this gel better than the elegance gel but you get more for your money with the elegance gel so this stuff it gets a little pricey just for this little bit okay and that's pretty much my station and also this fan i love because it gets real hot in here especially in the summer in the valley it's no joke and I want to show you guys something here. My guy that's next to me, Jesus, his station, right? And it's kind of cool. He's starting to use the grips on his uh, trimmers and clippers. But I wanted to show you guys this trimmer. I've been kind of using it as well. He's let me use it a few times. And I'm going to tell you guys, I want to do it a review on these. I want to actually purchase these. I like them so much. I think that there are better than the cordless detailers. What we did, we put the uh, blade, the, the uh, detailer blade on it. And I'm telling you, these things are, are hitters. Don't sleep on these. They're called the, um, the Renfo. I don't know if you can see that. I think I'm going to do a video in more detail of these trimmers. All right. Leave a comment or something if you guys want to see that video. So that's a pretty much of a rundown of my station, a little bit of the shop as far as Razor Palace, how that name came about, the red carpet here, um, why we have that, and um, that's pretty much it, guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. As always, please, 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 guys, help the channel grow. Please hit me up, leave a comment, 
Uh, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on Kingy Lifestyles, all right, guys, on Instagram, all right? And um, that's it for now, and I will see you guys in the next video.